Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my first review on a product. I've never done a video like this before and I'm sort of nervous. Now I've never ever dyed my hair, like ever. This is 100% my real color. When I was born, I was born with like platinum blonde hair and it stayed for years and it kind of got a little darker over the years. But when I go out in the sun, it gets so much lighter and then when it becomes winter time, I, it starts getting a little darker. But it naturally, I just have highlights in it. Like this is darker than this up here. Yeah. So all my life, I've wanted to have like electrifying like colors in my hair, like hot pink or hot blue or just crazy colors like that, but I never wanted them to be permanent. So the product I'm going to be testing out today is the Color Styler, which is brand new, and I got it in the pink pop. See, it comes with uh, the bottle of dye. It comes with gloves to protect your hands. Yeah, I am super excited about trying this product. Now, I've used Splat before like a hundred billion times, but Splat has like a chalky feel. I'm scared to put it on the tips of my hair because it will come off on my clothes. Now, this product says it doesn't rub off like chalk, and I sort of find that a little hard to believe because I've worked with Splat so much. And I understand this is a different product than Splat, so I'm really hoping for the best, and I've heard that it has some good reviews. So, let's get started. So, first of all, I'm wearing a shirt I really don't care about too much, and I also have a towel. I have this towel that I'm going to put on, like, under right here, so if it does spill on my shirt or something, then it will spill on a towel. So, what I'm first seeing is this bottle and this is the dyeing stuff I guess. Feels like it's really liquidy in there. It feels like like mouthwash. I There's two of these or whatever, two gloves so you don't dye your hands. And then there's instructions, which before I do anything I usually always read the instructions because I really care about my hair and <laughs> I've kept it undyed my whole life so I just want to make sure that everything really washes out. Okay, it even says the first direction is to place a towel around your shoulders. I'm smart. Yeah, yes. It says make sure your hair is dry and untangled. We shall do that. Now, I just want to put this product on the tips of my hair. I don't want my whole hair red. Um, the reason that I put the dye on the tips of my hair is first of all it kind of looks cool and second of all if for some reason this product decides to never come out of my hair I could just trim my hair on the bottom and everything will be okay. Now I'm going to pin my bangs back because I don't want to use them. So by reading the directions, uh, the directions say that the stuff should come out in about two to three washes. If your hair has never been dyed before or if it's not damaged, my hair is not damaged. I rarely wear heat on it or use curling irons or anything like that. If you've watched any of my past videos, this is my normal everyday hairstyle and I'm okay with that. Um, so yeah, we're just going to get started. The first thing I'm going to do is sort of split my hair in half, like this, because I want to get it on the tips of my hair. And so what I plan to do, I hope it works out, is I'm going to put a ponytail on my hair, like this, and I'm going to pull the ponytail down to wherever I want my pink to show. So about there, that's about how much pink I want on my hair. No more than that. So I'm going to do the same thing with the side of my head. I'm starting with putting it up sort of high, and then I'm going to run it down. And I'm putting them on very loose, and I'm going to make sure that they're both pretty even. Now to me that looks pretty even, right about there. So I've kind of placed the towel inside of my shirt, so I can sort of bend like this a little bit and just get the tips of my hair. So now the directions say to put my gloves on. These are supposed to be reusable. I'm going to so look like a serial killer in a minute. Hang on. Oh yeah. Look how, look how killerish I look in these. Isn't it sexy? So the next thing it says to do after I put my gloves on, which is like taking forever because I have rings on. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Now it says to take your bottle like this and to vigorously shake it 
for about five seconds. Okay, now it says to squeeze the product directly onto my glove, of my fingers on my glove, and then to rub it on the spot that I want it to turn that color. So I'm going to open it. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Okay, I'm going to lean down. Mm. Whoa, okay. It's like water. Holy crap. Like, the consistency of it is like goo. We shall see how this works. Wow, okay. Okay. Wow, that is really pink. I'm definitely going to need more product. Give me a second. It smells really good. It smells like bubble gum. Oh no, okay. Smells totally like bubble gum. That is the craziest thing. I'm trying to use all the product. Ah! Okay, well. I might have pink in other parts of my hair that I didn't want it to be, but. Whatever, okay. Adding more. It really smells good. Like, not even lying. It's, it smells delicious. It's like so hard to get it in those certain areas. I'm just gonna kind of. I've seen people do it like this before. And I'm just gonna see how that works. I'm going on a date with my husband tomorrow, so I want it to look nice. I just don't want it to look weird. That's sort of starting to look a little weird. Okay, okay. Adding more product. It smells so good, guys. Like, I'm not even kidding. Okay, see? Looking good. It says to make sure after you apply the stuff to um, brush your hair out. I guess that's how it sort of sets or whatever. Now I'm kind of like massaging it. The gloves smell bad, but the, the product doesn't smell bad. Product smells See, I'm trying to make sure, you see like in those areas where my hair is just totally showing, I don't want it to be like that, I want it to look all neat. If you guys know of a better way to do this, please let me know. I am open to all suggestions from you guys. I've just seen how many people do it like this, so I thought, hey, I'll try it. Okay, it's getting there, it's getting there. Yeah, it's doing really good. This product is already, like, amazing. It's so much better than Splat already. Like, I'm so excited. Now, since I pretty much got it, kind of how I want it, I'm going to kind of lay it down, and I'm going to work on the other side, which is... <laughs> My shirt's trying to fall off. Excuse me. Okay, this one feels like it actually has less hair. <laughs> All those people who are probably laughing at me right now, if I were you, I would too. Because I look like an idiot. I absolutely have no idea what I'm doing. Ooh, it's all over my sink. I wonder if it stains the sink. Where it feels really good though through the gloves. It smells really good though. I swear, if you guys go get this product and you're smelling it and you think it smells like bubblegum, please let me know because I think it definitely does. I think it's pretty good. You can always add more product later. Uh, so, this is what it looks like right now. It says, let your hair dry thoroughly, and then brush to set the product. I'm going to make sure I have enough in it. The stuff on my gloves. It's drying. Like, this side's already really, really dry. There's some spots that I've missed, though. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to clean these. They say to clean these, you use warm water. And then I'm going to just let these dry real quick, and I'll be right back. Come up with my ends. 
Okay, glove, work with me here. Work with me here. Mm. Oh. Okay, so the product has seemed to stain my bathroom sink. Now, if it stains my bathroom sink, I'm not sure I can trust it on my valuable clothes. So let's look at this, shall we? See that, like right here? I'm using a makeup removing wipe to try to get it to come up. It's not wanting to come up that easily. Uh, I'm gonna try another product and see. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them out of the ponytails and kind of like spread them. I'm trying to dry, it's getting a little clumpy. I wonder if that's normal, I think it might be. But I'm trying to get it to dry all the way. It seems like certain parts of it dried like the second that I like put it on. It seems like the product is pretty much dry. I'm not gonna lie, I did use a blow dryer to kind of speed the process up. I used it on cool though, so if for some reason it acts weird with heat, not a worry. So, it says to brush your hair now. So I'm just gonna start by brushing just the ends of my hair and then kind of working my way up. It seems like it's brushing good. It kind of feels chalky though for right this second. Maybe it's not all the way dry like I thought. It kind of dyes your hairbrush a little. So I just read here, because I was looking at how to normally put it on, it says right down here that you can use a hair dryer, like if you're doing your whole head or whatever. And so I was totally safe to be using a hair dryer. You can see how sort of when you brush it and it's not fully dry, it makes it come on other parts of your hair. So obviously on this side it's higher up than this side, but whatever. <laughs> but it feels like my hair and it's acting like my hair. If you look at it, it's not as clumpy or whatever. I probably have to brush it again now. <laughs> um, it's very pom-pom-ish to have it on the ends of your hair. But I mean, how cute would that be if I had like ponytail like right here? That'd be so cute. But yeah, pull it on one side of my hair. Love it. I love it. For, um, for use on special occasions and stuff, I think this product is really going to stay with my products. I'm here in a ponytail to kind of show you what it looks like. Can you see it? I'm trying to use my mirror. Can you guys see it? It's so, it's super cool. It's just so cool. My shirt is sucky though. But I love it. I think it's totally awesome. It's everything I thought it would be. It's not rubbing off on my clothes. I'm super excited about it.